Good morning, everybody. So I'm sure most of you know by now, but I'm Victoria Mullen, and I'm the Acting Lead Lay Chaplain for the Our Lady of Lords Trust. So this week's theme for our Missionary Discipleship Task is knowledge. Now, we've heard it said many a time, haven't we, that knowledge is power, and that's so, so true. The more knowledge we have, the better we can understand the world in which God created for us. So in order for us to be missionary disciples this week, we're going to pass on any knowledge that we have to others, uh, any quirky little tricks that you have or life hacks. And um, so I'm going to share a couple with you that, that I use. Um, the first bit of knowledge I'm going to pass on was actually passed on to me by Tom Baptist, so our very own Tom, uh, who's presenting today's show. I once said to him that I was um, struggling to make time for God in my life. And, uh, and I know I've passed this on to some of my students before, but um, he said, make an appointment with God. Make a card, write down a time and a date, and set that time aside, and make sure that you put that side time aside for God, and then that you keep it. So when life is really, really busy, and you've got lots of homework, and you're part of loads of clubs, etc., are you making time for God in your life? So what you do is you make a little bit of card, appointment with God, write your time and date and pop it in your um, bag or in your organizer or in your wallet, and you simply keep that time and date and you keep that time just for you and God. Another life hack I've had, and I feel like I should have known this a long time ago, but I'm very, very new to it. Uh, so any of you who have got an iPhone, so I'm going to try and show you on the screen now. Any of you got an iPhone, uh, do you struggle to... Um, move the cursor around. So if you want to, if you made a mistake in your text, do you struggle to change it and turn press on your screen? So you'll see in my notes now, I've done that. If you press the space bar and hold it, you can move the cursor to any part of the text you want and can edit it there. So I do feel like I should have known that already, uh, but I didn't. But there's another little life hack for you and the knowledge that I am passing on to you. So there's so much knowledge that you can pass on. But if you're struggling thinking, oh, I don't know what I do, I did a little bit of a research on the internet and you could do the same. And there's a couple that I've come up with that perhaps you could use uh, and show somebody how to do it, or you can do a bit of research yourself, or is there something that your family do? You think like, oh, I'm gonna pass on that bit of knowledge. We, we do this as a family and it makes life a lot easier. So some of the ones I found on the internet were um, make your bed in the morning. Because when you come back after school in the evening, it means your room is already tidy. Um, eat your veg first in dinner. So do you ever find that you're left at the dinner table and you're not allowed to leave until you've eaten all your veg? And by the time you've got to, it's cold and perhaps not the most favourite part of your dinner. So somebody said, if you walk down the veg first, it's done. And then you've got all the nice bits of the dinner left. Although I do love veg and some of you might love veg as well. Um, another one was um, tear up your socks as you're putting them in the laundry basket. So then when you put them in the washing machine, you will never get that lost odd sock. Um, use a coat hanger for your accessories. I thought this was an awesome one. I'm going to do this one myself. Um, so can you get a coat hanger and hang up all your different bits there? Uh, Post-it note reminder on your door. So are there days when you need your PE kit or um, something different happening in school and you need to bring in some baking ingredients or something like that? Um, could you write a post-it note, put it on the back of your door, so that next morning when you're leaving the house, you go to go and go, ah, oh, I forgot my ingredients, or I don't have my PE kit. So that's, that's a really good life hack reminder. And one that I really liked as well was reuse your ketchup bottles, your mayonnaise bottles, you know, the plastic squeezy ones, use them as paint dispensers. So if you are particularly creative and you have a lot of paint in your house, but you're always getting in trouble for dropping it on the carpet or on the table and staining, then perhaps you could use them and that way you can, you can seal the lid and they're stored away nicely. So, just a reminder then, your missionary discipleship task this week is based on knowledge. What knowledge can you pass on to somebody else? Have a great week, guys. Looking forward to seeing them. Bye.